Hello, this is Toby, and today I'll be reviewing this product that I bought. And it's one of those grow your own bonsai kits that you can buy from stores. This was just one from Bunnings. And there's different types. It was a jacaranda one, it was a Japanese maple one. But I put, picked the pine one because obviously I have a lot of I have a lot of pine Japanese maples and there's also like a little jacaranda growing in my yard that's germinating from a seed somewhere. And basically I'm gonna see how well this works and let's just see what it says here. It says all-in-one starter kit. In the kit it has four biodegradable pots, soil pellets, pine seeds and growing instructions. So Let's see what it says on the side. Same thing. Uh, it says it's Mexican we weeping pine seeds. Pinus patula right here. And booklet with comprehensive growing instructions. On the back, it shows you the steps, which I'll read out right now. Growing bonsai from seed is a very rewarding experience, giving you 100% control from the earliest stages of growth. Getting started is simple. One, you dissolve your peat pellets. Two, sow your seeds. Three, water and place in a sunny spot. For full instructions, see the enclosed booklet. Pines, pine trees are evergreen, meaning they will keep their leaves throughout the year. To keep your pine as healthy as possible, it must be kept in ideal conditions. Keep it potted in a container with good drainage and ensure the soil is moist but avoid overwatering. Place your bonsai in a position with full sun so it will grow to its full potential. On the back of the pot, this says a little bit about bonsai. It says, in the past, it was believed that by growing a bonsai, you are capable of attaining immortality. The first mention of bonsai trees date back to the 3rd century BC in China, and the oldest bonsai tree is estimated to be over a thousand years old. So now let's open this up and see what we have inside. In case you're wondering, that dog's not my dog. I don't have a dog. That's just someone living behind us with a dog. And so if you find that annoying, I'm sorry about that. We can see there's four biodegradable pots. If I can just... I'm kind of stuck. The peat... Oh, there's only two, okay. This is just a peat block. And you can, if you listen to where I drop it, it's very hard and it's flaking off. So I put that on the side, see that over there. Let's take, see I can put, take these pots apart. These are, oh, there we go. Oops, I'm trying to put that much effort, taking it out. I don't know why they gave us these type of pots. Yeah, these look pretty good little pots and all we have here is I'm assuming the pine seeds are in here and I feel it they feel like pretty good seeds I don't know if they've been cold stratified before I'll show you some pine seeds I've grown in the past I grew some in spring but I wasn't good at keeping care of them so I killed most of them like this one and that one but I do have one that's surviving that I grew from spring and it's not doing that well it's a bit eh it's alive you can see it's green but not doing the best some just recently germinated because there were some cones I kept in my greenhouse you see some little pine seedlings. There's some cones that I kept in here. I love cones, so I just kept them in here. And some of them had seeds and they just fell into some pots and they germinated. So you can see I keep a lot of cones here. You can see some pine cones. Look at that cone, looks really nice. Little spruce cone. Some sequoia dendron cones. So I keep all sorts of things on this rack and sometimes they just drop all of the 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 board and I just collect them I collected them a couple weeks ago and just put them in the fridge for stratification so back to this let's see what this says bonsai care booklet that's a lot of instructions how to root prune when we already know all of that so I want to see if there's one about I'll see if I can find one about actually how to grow this because it doesn't say about cold stratification, which is surprising. I'm just seeing what it has. It's got a lot of instructions. You can see a lot of instructions on how to do stuff. I don't know if you guys can see that the camera's already picking it up properly. There we go. You see this tools, bonsai defoliation. We don't defoliate pines. You never defoliate pines because it'll kill the tree. They have to have green on the branches so they won't survive. This is how to wire, single wire. This, let me move this away so I can show you guys. The book. We don't we already know all of this, so uh, how I don't know I'm giving this I know I'm turning the pages the wrong way. But I wanna see if there's anything about how to grow the seeds. Content bonsai introduction. When to plant seeds. Let's see how to sow your seeds. Page three. Let's see what this says. 
Let's see. The best when to plant bonsai seeds. Seeds of many tree species are naturally programmed to survive through winter and germinate in early spring to maximize the duration of the first growing season. The best time to sow seeds is spring and autumn in mild conditions. When growing varieties that require winter dormancy, you can start them at any time by mimicking the cold season. Simply store the seeds in your refrigerator for two to four weeks prior to sowing. So it does talk about cold stratification, that's pretty good. And let's see what it says here. How to sow your bonsai seeds. Prepare the jiffy soil pellets in a large bowl and add 500 ml of lukewarm water. After 10 minutes, you will have enough soil to fill your jiffy pots. Loosen the soil with a table fork and put your new soil in each pot. Leave about 10% of the soil full to use later. Wait, hold on. In the bowl to use later, not soil bowl. So, just place one to three seeds in each pot and slightly cover the soil you have left in your bowl. Gently press down with your fingers, work thoroughly, saturating the walls of the pot and place in a warm sunny position. You will see the first sign of your seedlings after 10 to 30 days. When the seedlings are 5 cm tall, thin to leave only the strongest seedling in each pot. This allows the seedling to have plenty of space to develop. The surplus plants can be planted into another pot or directly in your garden. So I guess these seeds haven't been stratified, so I guess I'll pack this up for now. We won't be needing this till spring. Booklet can go back. We already know most of the information on this, so I don't need to read that again. Watched enough videos on how to do bonsai, so that's gonna go in the box. Let's I'll get I'll prepare so I do have some leftover soil from my other video, so let me get a Ziploc bag and we'll prepare the seeds. So we've got this Ziploc bag here and what I usually do with my seeds that I stratify, I put first of all I put the seeds in. Let's open this up, see how many seeds we have. I'll plant all of them. That was a very that was a terrible rip. I'll put this on my hand. I'll see how many. Hmm, the seeds. There's one there's one more in here, I know there is. Let me just put that on the bag. Oops, don't want to lose any of these. Seeds are quite small compared to, oh, there's two seeds in there. Yep, that's empty. So I'll quickly count the seeds. We've got three, six, nine, eleven seeds. And you see some of them are darker, some of them are lighter. I don't know why. I think the darker ones are a bit better, more mature. So I'm just going to stuff all the seeds in here for now. Let me just put them on my hand so I don't lose any of this. Again, I apologize for the dog. That's not my dog. That's someone else's. So I can't do anything about that. Let's put the seeds in here. And what I usually do with my seeds that I cold stratify is I'll put some peat and perlite in there so it holds some water. I have some leftover soil from that other video I did. So luckily we've got some in here. Just dump that in there. I usually stratify them for about two months because in Australia, in winter, you don't get weathers extremely cold. And during the day, you can still go up to sometimes around 18 to 20 degrees so then I'm going to feel the cold here so pour some water in here so the seeds don't dry out that might be a bit too much water I might have to pour some out there's not a lot of seeds in there so I don't need a load of water I'll pour that out so there was 11 seeds in here here I poured the water out I let the peat soak in and we'll put this in the fridge and we'll come back oh wait is that a seed I think that is a seed that's left outside. It doesn't look like a seed, but I'll put it in. That means there's 12 seeds. So, 12 seeds in there. We'll put in, oh, is that another one? I don't, is that a seed? I'm trying to question, I think it is. This black thing. Doesn't matter if it's a seed or not, we'll put it in there anyways. If, if it's not a seed, it's just some rock or some pellet. That's fine, it's not gonna do any damage. So what I'm gonna do is mix this up a bit so that the seeds are in a moist condition as the peat soaks up the excess water that's still in there. There's still a lot of water in there. We wanna put that in the fridge, you wanna come back around the 15th of August or around that time, which we'll be planting them. So today's the 30th of August and I know it's a bit late, I was meant to take this out a couple weeks before but I have to prepare for my soil experiment which I have to be using some of these seeds so that's why I'm only going to use some of the seeds for this video and the rest I'm going to be used in another video which will be about soil experimentation but for now I'm just dissolving this peat pellet, I only dissolved one block and the reason is 
there's four there's four parts okay and there's only two peat pellets at least the, only c2 peat pellets unless it's hidden in here which shouldn't be there's another one there and using basic math that means one peat pellet for two pots if there's not enough peat or soil in the pot i'll just add a bit of my own soil that's fine so i'm dissolving that first thing you need to filter out the seeds so these have been in there for quite a long time now and I already planted some of my other seeds, so I know this one seems a bit late, but I'll show you what my other seeds look like first. And after I show you that, I'll, just, I'll separate my seeds and plant what I need to plant. So here are my other seeds, which I did in another video, which may or may not come out before this video. But if it does, I'll always link it. And some pine seeds, what I did from my other video, already signed to sprout, so you can see Pine seeds starting to sprout, there's maple seeds as well. These are all cold stratified seeds, which is why they're germinating Chinese elm. So, yeah. But back to this, I'm gonna go filter my seeds, which should be in the plastic bag here, Pinus patula, and I'll show you what they look like. So here are the dissolved peat pellets, and here are my seeds, which I have separated at the bottom of the pot. So. I don't know what this is, the peak pellet, I think there's enough, but this looks like mud and well, if it, the instructions say you can grow in that, let's just try it out. It, it looks doubtful, it, look at it, if I scoop this up, it looks like mud, like it doesn't look like good soil, there's no minerals, there's nothing in there, but we'll give it a try, so we'll pop, we'll scoop this, we'll get our pot, we'll put it in there. I just broke the peat pellet up and it started to grow, so. All right, that's definitely enough for two pots. So they do absorb a lot of water and it's still a bit of dry spots in there. And this was my old moss farm, but there was no moss in there at the moment. I did this, so this is why I just put it in here. There will be moss in this in the future, but it's where I use moss so I can put it on my bonsai, but you know, nothing there at the moment. That's one pot done, it's dripping wet. And just pour this in. Some cheap soil. Oh, that. And we're gonna plant our seeds. So I need to save six for the thing. So let's move six aside. And the rest we're gonna plant in there. Six or five, I'm five seeds, not six. So we're gonna plant the seeds now. What I'm gonna do is just place the seeds on top of the pot. One in there and another one in here. Another one in there. There's a big seed here, another one here. Press down a bit. And another one in there. So that's the seeds planted. I'll show you. These on there, you might not be able to see properly. We're gonna put them in a sunny spot and we're gonna water them. So here they are and I've just watered them and they're with my other seedlings. And it seems like drainage is pretty poor. So I don't know how the roots are gonna do in these. So I'm putting in a sunny position and you can see the water is still draining, but I maybe I just need to water it less. And it's a beautiful spring, not even spring yet, late winter day, almost spring. See my acacia A file is flowering. A lot of things going on, the weather's getting warm and hopefully they'll start popping up like these little pine seedlings. They'll start popping up and we'll just see how they go. I've never had Mexican weeping pine. So this is first time, very exciting. They have weeping needles and the water's starting to drain out now and hopefully we get some germination. So we're starting to get our first germination in here from the peat and you can see that that's a little Mexican weeping pine. I've got some going on in the soil experiment that's already starting to germinate. Can you see it on here if you guys can see? 
So that's pretty good. Oh, there's another one here in the cactus and succulent mix that I just noticed. So that's pretty awesome. These two, I think I saw them coming up before, but I can't find them now, but good to have one coming up there and we'll see how this develops. So back with the little seedlings, you can see this one there. There's two over there on the side and there's another one coming up there. So that's really good. That shows how it works. So I'm gonna show you how they develop now. So I think this will be the final update of the seedlings grown from the bonsai kit. And summer is quickly approaching. And for once we actually got a pretty good day today. It's pretty warm and it wasn't cold and wet like the past couple of weeks. And here are some seedlings. These are the ones I grew for the soil experiment from the kit. So these are the seeds from the kit. And those are the ones I used, bought or grew using the kit. And you can see some of them are doing pretty well. Some of them are quite small. This one's quite big. These are quite small, but that's fine. So in the end, if I had to rate this kit out of five, I'll give it a four. It's pretty good. You get pretty good seeds. The germination rate's decent, but what could be improved is that they should give um, a better pot than these. Although some people prefer these and they should give something you can stratify your seeds in like a Ziploc bag or something, just to make it easier. Cause for some people who might not know how to do so, that could be really beneficial. So that's something they could improve on, but overall, really good kit, really good instruction booklet, which I hopefully showed you guys and hopefully you guys saw at the start of the video. And I will probably post updates on these guys in the future. You can see they look a bit different from the other pines that I have. And once they start growing their real needles, I will post a picture of it on my Instagram, so be sure to check that out. So I hope you enjoyed this video and Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.